Hi everybody, my name is Matthew. I work at Martin Kammermann's lab at the Netherlands Institute for Neuroscience. And today I'm going to tell you about our recent publication in Journal of Physiology called Enhancing the Dark Side, a symmetry gain of comfortoreceptors underpins the discrimination of visual scenes based on skewness. If you look on this texture, you will see that it's composed on, of the horizontal stripes. And yet, the only reason why you can see those this pattern is that because the stripes has different skewness, which is ratio between dark and bright patches within the scene. So for a long period of time, it was thought that the sensitivity to skewness originates in visual cortex, where it's mediated by the so-called black shot mechanism, which derives its name from the fact that it has disproportionately high gain to strong negative contrast, so basically something like this. However, we found that this, it originates in conphotoreceptors. Indeed, we uh, exposed conphotoreceptors to the set of differently skewed stimuli and recorded their voltage responses with patch clamp electrode. We found that in a full consistency with what you would expect from the black shot mechanism, responses to stimuli with a prevalence of strong negative contrast had higher amplitude than stimuli where it was only fraction of them, only a small fraction of them. And this, so this uh, asymmetry in response underpinned by the asymmetry in the conphotoreceptor gain, which had higher, uh, which is higher for the strong negative than for the strong positive contrast. But why the con gain is so asymmetric? Well, to understand, uh, to answer this question, you need to look on the distribution of light intensities as natural scenes. From this, which is present here, from this you can infer that negative, the dynamic range for the positive contrast is much higher than for the negative contrast. Indeed, light intensity cannot decrease by more than 100%, but can easily increase multiple times. Now, from the uh, information theory point of view, in order to efficiently encode this stimuli, your, uh, the distribution of your po possible output values should be Gaussian. And the only way to achieve this is to have this nonlinear gain. And if you want to learn more details, I would advise you to read our paper.